day in the life of. You know, there's all these bloggers. Oh my God, vloggers, blog, whatever, on YouTube. There's so many of these people that turn on the camera when they get out of bed and turn the camera off when they go back to bed. But I'm going to show you a day in the life of me when I'm not fishing. Because I actually have something maybe a little interesting to show you today. You can be the judge of that. <laughs> well, I had a most excellent day yesterday. Oh my God, it was perfect. Almost like this weather right now that you're not going fishing in because you're at work and uh, I had a whole family that was on vacation from Wisconsin. And my God, was it a great day. What a difference 24 hours can make. Yesterday was Monday, but on Sunday, the wind was blowing so hard and it was so cold. I had two uh, young guys on the boat and we couldn't even give away a shrimp. So um, it was absolutely pathetic on Sunday. Then I go out on Monday morning at 7.30 and I could tell it was awesome. Uh, the first spot we went to, we had a three pound trout on the first drift of our float rig with a live shrimp on it. It was fantastic. Then on the second drift, we had a trout. The third drift, we had a trout. And I said, good God, we in the meat now. What I'm doing is I'm heading over to my dad's house and I'm gonna pick him up and we're gonna go to lunch at the China Buffet. Because I was asked, what do I do when I'm not fishing by uh, one of the young guys I had on the boat Sunday. And I told him, I'm either editing video Working on the boat, we're working on tackle. Got dad here, and we're at his house, and now we're heading to the China Buffet for lunch. All right, China Buffet. Here we come. This is me and dad's favorite place. We start out with mussels. I love shellfish. Steamed mussels. Mm. And you gotta dip them in a little sauce here. Mm. Here's next up stuffed mushrooms, rice, and some kind of chicken thing. Ooh. This is how I finish up. I always have egg drop soup and something to dip in it. Dad, eat, Dad eats ice cream every time. <laughs> We're done, done, done. And I'm full, full, full. This is sort of our once a week deal here. One, one, once a week we go to China buffet now I'm stopping in at my credit union isn't this vlogging fun this, this is just like really this is cool dad's leaving talk to you later bye oh boy isn't this exciting folks woohoo yeah I want to be a blogger blogger I'll tell you, you know how when you're a vlogger, if you notice every single, well, not, I'm not going to say every single one. You notice most of these vloggers are a bunch of teeny boppers. And especially the guys, they got some girlfriend who could knock your socks off because she's so hot. That's pretty much it. This is only, uh, what time is it? It's only 1230. So there's so much more to my day. Alrighty, 
now I'm in um, the grocery store getting seltzers. And I'm, I'm a bit of a germaphobe, I guess you could say. I don't know. I feel that way sometimes, so I'm wiping this off with an antiseptic. I hate these carts. See, if I was married, this is all the crap the wife would be doing. Being a single swinging dude, I do all this shit. Alright, I think I'm out of here. Back on the road now, and it's not a great road. The road that I live off of, they're doing a lot of construction because they're putting in a third turn lane or something like that. Okay, come on, Schmohawk. Oh man, look at the bumps here. Oh. Going over some of these bumps one time in my with my boat on the trailer, it vibrated one of the nav lights right off the side of the console. I mean, that's some wicked bumps when you break a, a light right off of your goddamn console. Alright, now he's stopping to talk to his buddy. Okay. There we go, almost caused an accident. Oh, jeez. Oh, there's a DeLorean. Ah, you don't see one of them around very often. Isn't this vlogging exciting? Look at this big box. Excuse me while I'm trying to cut this box open and hold the camera. See? You can get, get away with all this on vlogging, right? All this banging and moving the camera around. That's what bloggers do. Or v vloggers. This is what I got. Ray Marine. VHF radio and you're probably saying to yourself geez Dave don't you have a VHF radio yes I've got this exact one on the boat but here's the deal I can't transmit but the reason I bought it is literally for this handheld unit this is a modular radio the speakers separate the radio separate and there's actually the radio so we're going to go plug this in, and I'm going to do some radio checks, and I'm going to see if um, my radio works, because I think it's just because I'm not transmitting somehow through here. All right, folks, I bought that entire radio just to get this, because here's the old one, and this thing would receive everything, but when you keyed the mic, nobody could hear you. So I ended up finding this guy who had the entire radio modular system. See, my radio is actually up under my console. Then this is nothing more than just a handset. And then over here, this is nothing more than just the speaker. I ended up finding this guy who wanted this at a buy now price, but a best offer. So what I ended up doing is I ended up bantering back with him on a best offer. And he took one of my offers and I got everything now. So whatever burns up, because I've had the speaker burn up before, and them speakers even used are 50 bucks. You know, getting ready for going offshore or doing, you know, even off the coast type stuff, I would never, ever in my wildest dreams go offshore or anything with a customer. And, and rely on nothing more than just cell phone if something went wrong. I want to have a radio no matter what. I don't want to go offshore without a radio. And I've got some things that I need to do offshore this summer that you're gonna, as a viewer, you're really gonna like. This is different. I'm doing something different this year. And I'm hoping to be able to do it either by Mother's Day or before Mother's Day. So I'm not going to tell you what it is, but it's something very interesting. And it worked. I just did a CETO radio check on channel 27, which is the CETO automated radio check. But what did I tell you in the beginning? I had this young guy the other day ask me, what do you do when you're not fishing? Video editing, 
working on the boat one way or another or working on tackle. And there's one more thing that should happen today, and that's going to cover tackle. I'll get back with you when the next cool thing happens here on Vlogging with Dave. <laughs> Damn, isn't vlogging fun? Look at all the good things you get to just follow me around through the day doing. Boat, now, here comes tackle. Here is a Triton 100G that I've dismantled down to parade rest. There was a certain part here that was stripped out. The handle shaft. So, that is the part that, here's your level wind, right? So this would be the side where all the guts are. And this went in there. So when you, the handle, the handle would never tighten up. But here's something that I'm going to show you. I got a bunch of parts, but I ordered some more. Here's a uh, level wind paw caps, level wind or the level wind paws. Here's those nuts that go to hold the handle on. There's three of the handle shafts. I know these reels so well, but here I am. I am going to uh, put this, put a new drive shaft or a handle shaft on this reel and put it back together. Let's just look at this for a second. Take all this out. Yeah, this is what you used to get when you ordered a, this used to literally be, it has Velcro right there. And this used to be folded like this, just to show you how things change. This wasn't that long ago. This little, I mean, nice little sort of tag label used to be on every ugly stick you ever got. I mean, they literally had Velcro and then you opened it up and it told you all about your seven year warranty, your limited warranty, all the different kinds of ugly sticks that were made, ugly stick light graphite, ugly stick custom, ugly stick big water, ugly stick tiger. Then, of course, it showed the exclusive clear tip design and the double built blank design. And this was right off of an ugly stick striper. So it wasn't that long ago, folks. But that's kind of funny. Now you get like one little tags going saying ugly stick on, on the rods when you get them. See all this? This is all Daiwa and Shimano parts, okay? Parts, extra gears and, and drag washers. And this is all straight from Shimano. And see, here's more caps and paws. I got more caps and paws than I know what to do with, so I just need to add this over here. You know, when you really start get, getting into this, um, this is the kind of stuff that you need to start putting together. You can't always be relying on somebody else to fix all your crap for you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to work on this. And I'll bid you farewell because this is the vlog. This is what Dave does when he ain't fishing. Which I got asked. Which spurred this entire vlog moment. I wish I had my assistant over here in her bikini. So she could be, you know, dancing around while we're doing stuff. Or if... You know, I'd be in a foreign country and I'd be getting underwater footage of her butt cheeks flexing as we go snorkeling. That's, this is the reason why I don't do this vlogging. Because it ain't no, there ain't no glory nothing going on here, folks. So, thanks for watching. And my first attempt at a daily vlog. Alright, I know you didn't ask for it, but you got it. See you on the next video. All done. Ready to go in service. Bing! Like magic!